A funny thing happened to me on my way to making my next tutorial. I, uh, I discovered another tutorial. I was basically doing a tutorial on string manipulation, uh, the um, replace and uh, remove commands. And I added one of the text fields as a, an afterthought. And normally I tab between fields if I'm using it quick and I discovered the tab was going to the wrong place. It was going from the uh, remove down to the buttons instead of from the remove to the replace the way I wanted it to. And so I said, oh, I'll change the tab order. So I go up to the view menu and I discovered that the tab order is no longer in the view menu. It's changed in Visual C Sharp uh, 2010 Express and, and 2008. It used to be under the view menu, but in 2010, it's under the uh, layout toolbar. So if you're not familiar with the way that works, basically we go to the tab order, now in the layout toolbar, and we click on it, and all these little numbers appear on everything you could tab to. <coughs> Actually, some of these things you can't tab to, but they're in the tab order anyhow. So if I just click on this it changes it to that order like I click on that and now that becomes the zero item click on that that becomes the one item click on that two three four five six and seven and then once I've done them all I can save them by clicking on the tab order again and now if I run this you notice if I tab First I go here, then I go here, then I go here, then I go here. Which actually isn't too bad. It's kind of good. But I really want to go to substring first. It's probably the only thing wrong with that tab order. So basically I can go back to tab order and change this field to zero. So that's the first place the tab will go. Then this one to one. And then probably the buttons to th two and three and then lastly the string itself to four and then it doesn't really matter after that but I'll just get rid of these guys not sure I have to but and then uh, click on tab order and if we run this you know it's for one thing it starts in the substring which is exactly where I want it to start and if I tab it goes to the replace string and then it goes to the buttons which I next thing I want to do is jump into the event handler for those buttons and finally it goes up to the string if I want to change this string but probably for the next tutorial I'll never change that string except by using the remove and replace well <coughs> I thought it'd be interesting to do a video on the tab order since I didn't know what it was I had to look it up in Google and once again the Google knows. I hope you uh, learned something from this tutorial. I know I did. And don't forget to subscribe.